The worst part about TypeScript are probably the error messages which can sometimes drive you insane. So let's look how we can read TypeScript errors and approaches to solving those types of errors. So here I have an example that we've seen previously. Let me just change this to let because there is going to be the same. So for example, if you open your terminal, you can get a much better view of the problems in your project. So you can use your terminal here and then you can go to the error message in your project. But I'm going to close this so we can talk about the problem. So now when you hover over the error, you get it in your project, for example, and first it dumps this first <laughs> wall of text, right? This inferred type and you're like, okay, I'm already not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> and then here is the best part. Element implicitly has an any type because expression of type string can be used to index type and then you start scrolling and you're thinking what the heck. <laughs> so the best part when you're starting with TypeScript errors do not get overwhelmed. Always scroll to the bottom and start with the bottom one because it's going to be the most specific one what happened. So you can read TypeScript errors at element implicitly has an any type because expression of type string and then you go to this part because no index signature with a type a parameter of type string was found and etc. TypeScript errors are like messages with because between them. So of course you might not know how to fix this problem and the first thing you do is like okay now I'm hovering over this error message and it's saying no index signature with parameter of type string and you're like hmm well, I learned about object index properties, so of course this might want me to make a key that's a string, so you can go interface, Pokemon maybe, and then you can say index, you say it's a string, and it should be an object of all these keys, right? So you can say id number, hp number, attack is also going to be a number, and let's make defense a number. And then we can assign it that type, so it's not the inferred one. And this fixes our problem, and at least we think that fixes our problem, because if we hover over Pokemon, we can see, okay, this is it, but this isn't really what we want. Instead of passing the string Bulbasaur to access the key Bulbasaur or whatever else Pokemon we want, we really want to pass the literal version, so we want to change this to const, so we get the literal type, right? And this type isn't correct anymore. So we can remove this, for example, if you type it this way, and now our error is going to be a bit more readable because we created an interface so we don't get the wall of text but even in this form it's super unclear. So if we go to the last one, so remember element implicitly has an any type because expression of type Bulbasaur can be used to index type Pokemon because property Bulbasaur does not exist on type Pokemon. So only care about the last message, property Bulbasaur does not exist on type Pokemon. And this error is really cryptic, right? And you wouldn't know what the solution is unless you understood all of these other things. So you really don't need to create a type or anything for this to work, right? Which you might thought was the original solution. And now everything is fine. We get the proper inferred type. If we hover our Pokemon, it can do whatever. We don't really need to add this Pokemon by hand. And yeah, that's it. Another thing to help you debug TypeScript errors when you're starting out is using the TypeScript error translator. So for example, if you go here to the extension, you just install this extension and it's going to give you a more human readable version of that error. So for example, let me just go to my extensions. Here I have the TypeScript error translator. I'm just going to enable it. Let me just close the sidebar, close this. And then let's, for example, create cons Pokemon. We can say string, I'm going to pick a true. And then let's try doing something stupid. We can say as an array of string. And now if we hover over the error, we can see the original TypeScript error might be confusing to you, conversion of type string to type string, blah, blah. Maybe a mistake because neither type sufficiently overlaps with the other. But here you get a more human readable translation from the extension. You can't use S to convert string into string of array. They don't share enough in common. And you can even go to the website, the TypeScript error translator or the playground. And here it has a similar message and you can copy your message over here if you're not using the extension. And when you submit the error, it really gives you a more friendly and human readable version. Again, the same thing we saw here, and it even has uh, an explanation here. Looks like you're trying to use S to cast one type into another. Your first type string doesn't match up with, etc. And this is really an awesome way to learn if you enjoy that. Another thing I want to mention again is that sometimes you might get weird errors because the TypeScript server might be acting up or whatever. So just remember, you don't have to restart your editor. You can restart the TypeScript server. So inside your editor, you can press F1 or the command palette. For me, it's control P. And then you can search for files. But if you type the pointy boy, you can get into command mode 
and then just start typing restart and you can find the command TypeScript restart TypeScript server and if that doesn't work as a last resort restart your editor. Another advice I have is if you can debug something you should open the TypeScript playground create the example that's reproducible right and you can share it with your friends or whatever a great community is the TypeScript community discord server where you can go and ask questions and they're really awesome there and they're going to help you out. All right, so I hope you have more confidence now how to debug TypeScript errors and catch you in the next one.